welcome to Mark's Garage. This is Missy the Wonder Dog. Hey, I'm working on this 47 GMC along with some other projects. So, you know, I thought I was done with doors, but since I put this back on, it doesn't quite hang right. The spring is broken, and it's the second W spring I broke. And the window regulator is jammed. It won't, the window won't go up and down. So I'm gonna pull the door, pull the hinge, I'm going to see what's involved in rebuilding that hinge with the uh, C-style spring, and we'll go from there. So I got the door up on the table, uh, disassembled the insides, I took the regulator out, I took the uh, relay off, I left the window in, and I'm trying to figure out what the problem is, and here's what I'm finding. I don't know if you can hear that metal on metal sound. Something scraping right there. So I can't see what the problem is because it's right in here where the window meets the, um, the channel. So I'm gonna probably have to push this window and try to turn it down like we're gonna take it out, maybe even take it out and see if there's something sticking out there. I know there's a, there was a screw there. Maybe it's not in far enough. So I'm gonna screw around with that see if I can get this window out of the way to figure out what the problem is. So I've managed to get the window to slide down far enough that I could take out, there was a screw in the track here and on the opposite side over there, I got them out. And now I can't get the window to come back up. I reached in from that access hole and tried pushing on it. I can't get enough leverage on it to make it slide. It seems to be stuck in the channel down low. I'm thinking of flipping the door upside down and letting gravity take a shot at it, but I don't know if that's such a hot idea. All right, I got the window out. Uh, it was able, I was able to pry it up with the uh, plastic pries uh, you know, the plastic uh, levers that I, that I have. So I didn't want to use any metal on it. But it came up and I put the old, the new window regulator back in, the one I bought uh, through Amazon. I think uh, United Pacific is the brand. And I went to put their handle on and I couldn't get the set screw to come out of their handle. But I'm gonna just show you this. I'm moving this regulator, there's no window in it, and it's hard to move. And that's a brand new regulator. It's choppy. So what I want to do, I'm going to pull that regulator out. I'm going to put the factory one back in, lubricate it up, and see if it makes a difference. So I installed the uh, factory regulator, lubed it up pretty good. That is a lot smoother than the aftermarket one that is brand new. You know, I can move that with one finger. It takes me, you know, two fingers to do it this way. But going up, you know, that's pretty easy. And now I am tempted to try to put the window back in and see if I get any better result. All right, so the window's in, but it's not connected to the regulator. I just want to test it like it did before. And it moves a little better. I don't hear that metal on metal noise because the screws are out. This definitely hangs up. Now, anybody thinks I don't listen to the comments or read the comments, Joe Sousa said to me, he says, try some dishwashing liquid as a lube. So I'm thinking some kind of lube on the tracks in here and in there might make a difference. I'm just not sure about dishwashing liquid because once it dries, isn't it just going to stop lubricating but I'll give it a shot what do I got to lose I'm gonna get some from uh, the kitchen right now I'll give it a shot all right I put some dish soap on the tracks um, got most of it on my hands my hands feel a lot smoother and, and uh, softer anybody want to guess what dishwashing liquid brand I used and throw back to the 70s from that commercial but Check this out. Window goes up pretty good. Goes down 
pretty good. Use two hands here. I don't know what it's going to be like doing it while I'm point hanging, but at least it's functional. It's a lot better than it was before. That's the original door handle. The brand new aftermarket handle, the set screw, would not come out. I'm going to have to send that back. I'm going to send that regulator back as well. So that's the beauty of Amazon. You just send it back. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm uh, calling this a win for the day. Third time's a charm.